All right, so Project Moon YouTubers, let's talk about them. Now, generally, we are known to be on the uh, expressive side. Eh, you know, who am I fooling? Raw brain rot, stupid. But see, that is a badge of honor. We wear our unhingedness with pride. Therefore, I set out on a quest to find the most unhinged content creator out there. I made a list of questions and interviewed various... Like, like seven content creators to rank them based upon who the most unhinged one is. C is the lowest category, and the one ranked highest gets to be crowned as the most unhinged Project Moon content creator, a title greater than anything else in existence. So, with that being said, let's start off the interviews with Dem. Now, let me give a little brief introduction on Dem's unhingedness. You see, this man spent half of his life becoming a professional Tetris player. Yeah. Yep, I ain't even capping either. So as we go through this interview, you have that thought resting in the back of your mind. Alright baby girl Dem, I am ranking every single, most, Project Moon YouTubers to see who the most unhinged one is. I'm going to ask you some questions and based upon your answers, we're going to see how crazy you are. Alright, sounds good. Alright, alright, so, first question. Who's your waifu or husbando? Any Project Moon game? Mio. Mio? All right. Yes. All right, good shit. All right, good shit, good shit. Okay, okay. You, you starting <laughs> off good. You starting off good. What's your current battle pass level? Uh, I think 109. Jesus fucking Christ. Bro, you I really play... like those mirror dungeons, don't you? Damn. <laughs> okay, listen. The, the, numeral, the numeral dungeon 2 changes were fucking amazing. I, mean, I would play them a billion times on for, at forward. That's right, that's right. That, that shit is nice. That shit is nice. All right. So, how do you get into Project Moon games? It's funny. Um, when Lobami Corporation was so fresh and new, I had a friend of mine back in the Toe community, like years, years ago, and she was just playing like a Project Moon game, like Lobami Corporation, and I was like, "Hey, it's kind of it's kind of like anime as um SCP." So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, I wasn't too into it. Like, he didn't actually buy the game yet, but. When more of my friends got into it, I eventually bought the game, and um, ever since I got Scarecrow, I got walled off from the point coverage. And when Light Baruna came out, then I was just hooked on to Project Moon ever since. Makes sense, makes sense. The Project Moon crack cocaine, good shit. Alright, so, best melee song that's in Project Moon's works? Don't get the city. Bar Ooh. fucking up. Okay, do you, do you memorize all the numbers or what? Um, the numbers of Pi? Yeah, yeah. No, it's, uh, it's fake fucking, fan. I, fake fucking like, fan. I know like three point, three point. No, it's it's no, three point one four, motherfucker. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> you fell mad, didn't you? <laughs> right. Okay. In high, in high school, I actually did feel mad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Favorite artist that does Project Moon fan art. I think like my first guess would be Mew because I. Everyone knows who they are, so... Yeah, yeah, their hentai's amazing. I mean, their art's amazing. Their art's amazing. Yes. Yeah. Oh. God tier art. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so, what other gacha games do you play currently? No other gacha games. Yeah, ever okay. since... Ever since Limbus came out, I quit... Like, I dropped a, a bunch of gacha games. I used to play Genshin. I hated Genshin. I used to play Honkai. I hate Honkai. <laughs> I tried to get to Star Rail. I hate fucking turn-based combat. <laughs> <laughs> I, um... The only other gacha game that I was really into was Guardian Tales. Like, I grinded the fuck out Bitch, you, no, you cannot m fucking move around not mentioning Blue Archive, motherfucker. <laughs> I do. Okay, I was going to get to Blue Archive. I have, played Blue, I have played Blue Archive, but I just dropped Blue Archive because Limbus was just better. <laughs> Like, there's, I'm being honest, Limbus yeah, was just no, better. No, 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 it's, I, I, there was like 80 different jokes my mind went to, but I'm gonna stop myself from saying any of them. <laughs> okay, listen, if, if, if you want to ask me for my favorite Blue Archive waifu, it's Wakamo. She's one of the only two 18-year-olds in the fucking yeah, game. Yeah, that's what they all say. Yeah, that's what they all say. <laughs> Alright, so, so, those are the icebreakers done. Now we're getting into, like, the big boy shit, right? So... You have to remove one important Project Moon character from the games. Basically, like, concept incinerator, that bitch. Who you erase him. Angela. What the fuck? <laughs> Use a fucking bitch. Okay, no, no, what, what's the no, reasoning? Okay, no, 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 what's the reasoning? Okay, listen. Angela's a fucking bitch. You like, are bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're all in charge of Viper Ruina. Like, she just had such flawed logic. Like, 
I, I think they were trying to go from go for a um, Beatrice from Human Echo to the character. What the fuck is like Human a, Echo? It's um, it's kind of like the what is it? A sympathetic villain, so yeah. to speak. But the thing is with Angel's motivation is that she's just a fucking child. She behaves like a fucking kid. Bro, like, she was she, tortured for a million years. Dude, dude she. <laughs> She acted like a fucking bitch about this. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but if you were tortured for a million years, dude, tell me you're gonna come out that shit, that fucking like well, cave in the ground be, normal. To be fair, I used to be in tall community. <laughs> 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 okay, like, I used to be point. in fucking fortune. You think. <laughs> what's, what's the million years to me at this point? <laughs> Alright, all right. you're still fucking whack for saying that shit, I will never forgive you and I will be the one to end you, but, but, okay. <laughs> Have you written a manifesto about your waifu? No. no doubt. Okay, so, I... thoughts on Cromer. Thoughts on Cromer? Yeah. Okay. No, no. So, you know Faust, right? Cromer Faust, right? Yeah. It's specifically said in the cutscene for the um, up for uptying S and Sinclair is that she basically fucked up her life in the very beginning. That's yeah. how Faust was able to corrupt Sinclair. Cromer genuinely loves Sinclair, and I will die in on this fucking mountain. Like Cromer actually had genuine feelings for Sinclair. You cannot tell me otherwise. That's why. That's why Cromer is a good character. I fucking love Cromer. Yeah, the main difference was Foss is beautiful and Cromer is like ugly as no. sin. So okay. that's the main difference between two. All right. So favorite death scene. I think Zhao. Zhao went down like a fucking champ. True. True. That was some like, shit. Yeah, like um, she just went down fucking swaying, and I respect I respect her character for that. So Zhao will be my favorite. All right, all right. But for talking actual deaths, and I'd say, I don't know, um, fucking Virgilius's or orphanage. <laughs> <laughs> Just all the bitches there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what is the next game you would like to see Project Moon make? The original Limbus Company game was supposed to be a dungeon crawler roguelike type of game. Mm -hmm. When the, when the teasers first came out, I genuinely expected it to be like some type of darkness dungeon s type of game. And while I am disappointed, we kind of didn't get that. What I do want is that we kind of know that um, Project Moon is interested in making a this distortion de detective visual novel. I would be really interested in it being kind of like a Phoenix Wright type of thing. Hmm. Like a point and click adventure game. Yeah, yeah. So, like a regular ass visual novel. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. When you mentioned Phoenix Wright, I was like, bitch, what the? Are we putting them on trial? But no, nah, no, nah, I, I see what you're saying. <laughs> Alright, so, this very serious question, you're gonna have to think about this one for a minute. So, this is gonna determine our friendship. Okay, so, is Sinclair breedable? I mean, I'm bisexual. I, I'm i more into Hong Lu, but yeah, sure. I'll just go with it. Alright. Okay, it's acceptable. Acceptable. Alright. So, hottest abnormality. Try to fucking put me in prison, I see. <laughs> um, fuck. Uh, shit, I can't push my way up this one. Queen of Hatred. <laughs> Queen of Hatred. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, who you coulda, you, th there was nothing I would have known that you would, like, nobody forced you to say that, like, you, you were talking about you couldn't bullshit your way, bitch, you, like, like, you could have just, I would have known if you just said something, alright, uh, we're just gonna, okay, next question, uh, which would you like to see first, bunny suit IDs or swimsuit IDs? Bunny suit, no fucking competition, I, I, I like, I like Mio. I don't get it why people would rather a maid suit than bunny suit. I just like bunny suits. No, no, like, no, 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 not maid suit, swimsuit. Oh, swimsuit. Swimsuits are fucking boring. Okay, well, uh, yeah, that's yeah, true, actually. Yeah. I kind of did that, yeah, <laughs> yeah, dead ass, yeah. Alright, what is one change you would make to Limbus Company? I, what I do want is, um, you know, skill cycling to be to be back, like fast cycling. Mm hmm. Because, like, I remember you mentioning that, um, there needs to be more ways to spend sanity, and no other, um, no other identity needs that more than Sunshower Heathcliff. Yeah. Like, 
he needs more weight to spend sanity. So, like, enabling fast cycling so that, um, you know, you lose sanity every time you, um, cycle through, um, skills, it makes Sunshine or Heathcliff more useful, like, more of, not, not efficient, but more consistent. Okay, so you're just simping for homeless Heathcliff. Understandable, yeah. understandable, I'd let him rail me. So, best Project Moon content creator, and why is it me? What? Best Project Moon content creator, and why is it me? It's just not good. What? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't quite, no, I didn't quote that, uh, say that shit again, bitch. Uh, best content, I, hmm. And why is it me? Hmm. Hmm. You seem a bit hesitant. I do watch your videos a lot. Like, cause, like I do... I, every time you reach a video, I do watch it. Uh -huh. But... Hmm. I don't like that button, but... Yeah. I think it actually is you. I don't, I don't <laughs> even watch it. Yeah. Y'all heard it here first, folks. Dem says I'm goaded with the sauce. But now let's move on to the next abnormality. Dino Dave. He is known for... Commissioning his OC to be in an artwork with Faust? Eh, understandable. Alright, so Dino Dave, right? You are a, a Project Moon content creator, and with saying that, there comes a fair bit of unhingedness. And with that being the case, I am going to tier list every single content creator, most of them. Some of them, there's a lot of motherfuckers out there. But I'm going to tier list them and see who the most unhinged one is. So. Are you ready for the questions that will determine if you are, in fact, absolutely batshit insane? Shoot them. Alright, first question. I already know the answer, but for the record, who's your waifu or husbando? Philo. It's my favorite character in the franchise. Always has been, always will be. <sighs> okay, that. Uh, yeah, I was starting off bad already. Uh, what's your current <laughs> battle pass level? Uh, I think it's like four? All right. I want to say. How do you get into Project Moon games? Oh jeez, this is a good one. Uh, so, it's a bit of a pipeline. I was playing a game called Muse Dash one day. It's a rhythm like anime game. And there was a song they called Koi no Moonlight. Listen to that. Hey, taught this. Hey, this is fire. Looked it up. Saw it was sang by a VTuber. I was like, ooh. Now, she's cute. She was a he. Turns out, uh, I went to make memes about that, about, you know, being tricked by a trap <laughs> yeah, for yeah. the first time, whatever. Posted it in a um, BlazBlue server, and immediately someone replied to it with ping on, it's just a picture to Mary. And I was like, what the fuck am I looking at? Show me more. <laughs> and then I looked up Love Town. I didn't sleep that night. Uh, tried to get it out of my head, but eventually gave in and bought the game. And I played Runa thinking it was a horror game. I was actually about to refund it <laughs> until I got to the Brotherhood of Iron, and then I was like, okay, we're so bad. That, that, that is a wild ass fucking journey, bro. <laughs> Goddamn. Best Millie song that's in Project Moon's works? From a place of love. I think the last one just kind of yeah. self explanatory. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, you just really like human meatballs. All right, favorite artist that does Project Moon fan art? Kalala Or. Yeah. Lala underscore or there is there there is a bit of competition but oh my god there is no one who has carried the elena like just irish on their back as hard as Kalala or what other gotcha games do you play seriously is this a question no, <laughs> okay it's for fucking oh. everyone you motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, no, 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 okay, okay, oh, oh, yeah, no, if yeah. we're going to get technical about it, gacha games I have played in like the last few months that I have, I, I, I know I'll eventually play again, but I haven't gone back to, mm -hmm. uh, Clash Royale, uh, <laughs> oh jeez, <I>, uh, <laughs> Dragon Ball Legends, I played that one, I Dragon Ball I played that a lot, it was just like, yeah, <laughs> but uh, Clash Royale, that's like the extent. Right, okay, that... I should have just mulliganed you for that one, fuck. Alright, alright, now, now we're going into like the big boy questions. You have to remove one important Project Moon character from the games. Basically, Concept Incinerator, that bitch. Who you erasing? Wow, that... No, 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 no. Take, that back, even... take that back, take that back, take that back. 
Yeah, because there's a lot. Okay. Anyone who's talked to me to any extended period of time knows that I hate a lot of choices Project Moon has made. Can I give a list? <laughs> just, give, just give one. This video going to be way too long anyway. <laughs> I don't want to. It's hard to pick. All right, tie. I'll give a tie. Right. Um, okay, Dante and Joe. Damn, because Dante catching the string. Dante does nothing for Limbus. <laughs> he is a stand-in. You know, I wouldn't mind Dante if he stayed quiet. The fact that he talks, it just it ruins it. Damn. Uh, clock rights just don't exist for you. Shit. Okay. Have you written a manifesto uh, about your waifu or husbando? Oh, buddy, you have no idea what's coming. <laughs> Manifesto, it will be real and that thing so far. I've done more writing for the Manifesto than I have like in my entire school career <laughs> for English. Thoughts on Cromer? Community ruined her for me. I wanted to like Cromer and I was very flattered that when a lot of people saw Cromer for the first time they thought of me immediately because you know, that's a ha psycho girl guy. Uh -huh. But I can't with Cromer. I just. When I sat down and I thought about her character, I thought about the fact that she is a Saturday morning villain, and then I thought about how cartoony and goofy and stupid she actually is compared to everyone in any other Project Move game, and I just immediately lost all respect for the character. Good fucking shit. This is the Limbus slander I fucking love. Yes! That bitch is ass, bro. Good shit, good shit. It should not exist. Best answer on Chrome so far, goddammit. Favorite death scene? Does Sinclair get hit by the drone in Chapter 4 count? No. Actually, no, okay. Screw it. To Mary, because when you blow off one of the heads, Mary starts to remember who she is, and it's really depressing. That... that's... an answer? Why well, that, uh... huh. Yeah, did not think anyone would answer with that when I, I wrote the... Uh, Alright, uh, um, uh, what is the next game you would like to see Project Moon make? Not a gotcha, anyways. Uh, the sort okay. Either the distortion detective light novel, so we know that the series is not like perma dead, but I have no hope in them ever bringing it back. Mm -hmm. Or some just like sort of third person action game. Do like a Risk of Rain one to Risk of Rain two type deal. Just jump the shark completely. All right, all right. Okay, so this one, very important question, most serious one so far. Uh, your answer to this is. Probably gonna decide the tone of the video, honestly. Is Sinclair breedable? Man, <laughs> all the people to ask this to you ask me. You sat down with a straight face and you thought, hmm, Dave. The one person in the community who despises the twink's existence the most. Is this character breedable? No. No, he's not. I'll tell you what you could breed him with, though. Maybe instead of, you know, giving him the old Sloppy Toffee 6000, you could just blow his head off with a blunderbuss. And do all a favor. And don't revive him. That's why Dante shouldn't exist. Cinder's on permadeath. <laughs> okay, it might have been. Your twink, your little skinny blonde boy. Go, white boy, go. He's not breedable. Sorry to break it to you. I'll find a way, fucking goddammit. <laughs> Hottest abnormality. Hottest abnormality. Well, I'm sure everybody thinks either Nisha Despair or I Need the Girls ones. Makes sense, makes sense. No, I, I was actually thinking about this the other day. <laughs> that is terrifying, <laughs> but all right, yes. Um, wait, wait, wait what, what hour of the day were you thinking? Was it like a 3 a.m. type of thought? 5 a.m. before I went to bed. Yeah, okay, yeah, that explains the scene, but continue, yeah. Um... Oh, Jesus, can you give me one second to just look up my notes on this, please? Uh, no, n notes? Uh, uh, go ahead. <laughs> He's so confused. <laughs> I don't know if you could put this in YouTube, but it, um... <laughs> Yo, it's so terrible. The Flesh point. idol. Fle Only thinks a dildo if you're brave enough. Uh, that is, uh, that's, that's... Uh, huh. Yeah, you are. Uh, you rank it high in the tier list, ain't you? Damn. Okay. Uh, which would you like to see first? A bunny suit IDs or swimsuit IDs? I pick neither. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an option? No. Uh, get the if fuck I had out of here. to, if I had to pick, I had to pick. 
I think we have a higher chance of Faust wearing a sweater if she wears bunny suit. I don't see the logic. What is one change you would make to Limbus Company? <laughs> I feel like for other people this would be they'd be stumped on this, but <laughs> Oh, I have a lot. Uh, I'd say the overarching one is I hope I wish it didn't exist there. <laughs> no no, you can't do that, no no no. You can't do that. There's one change I had if there's one change I had to make to Limbus Company, I'd axe all the humor and then make it more serious. I get how just stupid and silly that sounds, but I just I wish the game was more serious than it is. Oh, so you'd keep it being a gotcha? I did not say that. Alright, alright. We're on to the last question now, right? Mm. Important question. Best mm. Project Moon content creator and why is it me? Hmm. I don't like the fact you have to think about this. You should already have an answer uh, compiled. Why you don't know? Oh, oh, oh. Come again? <laughs> Check Zapticai. Is he's Irish? Yeah, um... <laughs> I feel as though he's more variety. Uh, yeah, I, we could like yeah, take it. We made a love court video. Uh, if Project Moon fans are anything to go off of, if you make one PM video, you're a PM YouTuber. So just to go. <laughs> no, if I feel the way we could tone it down, maybe instead of like a green oriented channel, we could go for like a light blue one. You know, zero like zero blue? four oh, Fs. No, 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 no. I, I gave the hex notation. Uh, two zeros, four Fs. You know, that's that's all I'm saying. Do you remember the hex? <laughs> zero yeah, shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> After hearing Dave's immense praise for me, we can now move on to the next abnormality, Welv. Now see, in the past, like a week ago, Welv challenged me to a war for Hong Lu, and it, uh, <laughs> it, didn't, it did not go well for them. After losing the Simpin War over Hong Lu, I am 100% sure of myself that I'm never recovering from my permanent negative 45 IRL sanity debuff. So hell yeah, brother. Alright, good shit, happy to have slotted you in that. So, your first question. Who's your waifu or husbando? Well, I've responded with, oh, that's an obvious one. Clearly it's Crit. To this day, bro, I don't know who the hell Crit is. But was he gonna say like Krillin from Dragon Ball? Homie, I don't know. Hong Lu, to be fair, Ron is close a close contestant to the number one spot. And you know what, Hong Lu, great choice. In response to that, I had to fucking murder him. So, next question, what's your current battle pass level? A solid and firm 150, but it's mainly thanks to me grinding out Mirror Dungeon 2 over the last few days. After being amazed that people actually play Limbus, he actually tried to convince me that people read. <laughs> yeah, nah, that shit ain't happening. I ain't never believed in that fictional fairy tale. What the hell, <laughs> nah. And for whatever ungodly reason, the thing that got him into the games was, um, the lolly murdering people, which I mean, you know what? People have gone into games for weirder reasons, so, you know. Is what it is. Now, in response to the best work that Millie made for Project Moon, they say Children of the City. <laughs> Boy, let's fucking go. All I'm saying is when I made that question, I did not expect to see so much Yan support, yet... Here we are. All I'm saying is, people know who the best femboy is. That's all I'm saying. Now, in response to their favorite artist, he said Kokoro, so I mean, hey, yo, <laughs> good shit. Now, in response to my question of who they would like to off from the series, they said Dong Rong. Which, I, you know, I kind of agree with that shit, not even gonna cap, but then they said Samjo wouldn't have unknowingly walked into his own death. And that made me come to the realization that maybe I'm actually kind of fine with Dong Rang having existed purely so we have the Samjo memes because. Whew, that shit beautiful. Now, Elf hasn't written a manifesto yet. But, they are saying that they're gonna make it as a catalyst for whenever a new 3 star Hanglu identity rolls around. So, I mean, that's a really solid game plan. Catalysts do help. Black magic is real. Sorcerers exist, you pussies. But, in response to hearing that information, I had to murder him. Now, see, my reasonings for murdering them, well founded, let me explain. In response to my thoughts on Chroma question, they tried to actually front like they didn't make a post fucking simping about her goddamn maid outfit art. Bro, there's like, there, there's like in Cromer, and then there's like in Cromer in secret. And in secret is so much worse. If you're gonna be a degenerate, bro, at least own that shit. What the fuck? And you know what? Now, we continuing the beef on the favorite death scene, the dead Sidoran. Bro, what? Well, why would that be the fa- Bro, she was, she was one of the few good looking characters in chapter four. 
Most of the motherfuckers are butt ugly. Dongbeck's homeless. And now they want a colonialization game from Project Moon? What the hell? So I'm not gonna cap, I'm not gonna cap in the slightest. Well, seems to be <laughs> fucking terrifying. But, 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 but they redeemed themselves when it came to the Sinclair question, right? You know, they said, they said they would be fine with Sinclair. And you know what? I'll take that shit. I'll take that shit. Granted, you know, they, they should have said a lot more. They should have been a lot more graphic. No reason in particular. I would like to hear that. None, none whatsoever. But, you know, I'll, I'll take the bare minimum. Pink shoes being the hottest abnormality makes sense, makes sense. Now, when it comes to what what they would like to see first, either bunny suit ID, IDs or swimsuit IDs, they dead said swimsuit IDs. Why? Who? Why? That shit weak. But, but, they gave out like a relatively strong opinion when it came to the passives, alright? You know, they want to make passives a bit more stronger because as of right now, they're way too uh, specific or they offer a little benefit, which... Makes sense, makes sense honestly, so good shit there. And they continued on being in my good graces when it came to the favorite content creator. You know, at first they joked and said it was me, but then they actually gave out something really wholesome uh, towards Dino Dave. And you know what? Man, that shit's beautiful, that shit's beautiful. So in response to hearing such a wholesome and beautiful statement, I threatened to kill them. So after hearing Welf gush about my content being amazing, we can now move on to the next abnormality, Banana Moth. Now he's known to say uh, interesting things. Let's uh, let's uh, just uh, let's just just move move on to the interview. In response to the waifu or husband no question, they said Ryoshi because Dami mommy energy and Mersal, probably for Dami daddy energy. You know I should already just delete this recording. What the fuck? However, their other waifus would be Makise Kurisu from Steins Gate and Laplin from Ark Knights and. Uh, well, I, I feel as though I, I I could take a link between the two. I would imagine the voice carries like a lot of that. Moss Battle Pass is at level 17, so the Limbus Brain Rot is yet to fully take hold. But, but, give it time and it will. It will. Then they talk about the fact that a mod for Starbound acted as basically a gateway drug for them to get into Project Moon's work. So, I mean, hey, good shit. And they choose the best work to be Gone Angels. Yeah, boy. That is a good fucking answer right there. That is a good answer. Thinking on it, though, there isn't really a bad answer, is there, huh? Huh. I mean, that's some shit. In response to their favorite artist, they were unwilling to divulge on their favorite hentai artist, which is... Greatly unfortunate. I was looking for some sources. To, I mean, um, <clears throat> they said their favorite artist was uh, Reem's artist. I mean, yeah, good shit, good shit. I love their Kurokumo Fasa. I remember that shit. Use it in the uh, in the catalyst. So it looks like Moth was playing Ark Knights in the past, but um, yeah, Texter's banner wasn't exactly the uh, greatest experience for them. So in response to try and help them through it, I made, frankly, one of my greatest jokes ever. Like. <laughs> I think I deserve a medal for that shit. That shit was a certified b -b 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 banger. Now, in response to me being the uh, <coughs> master of comedy that I am, they threatened to kill me. Now, after I shit myself in response to them saying that, I asked my biggest question. You could remove one important Project Moon character from the games. And before I could even finish, they said, no questions asked, Carmen. And I mean, that is... Bro, that shit bold. I ain't gonna... That shit bold. He, like... Bro, that, you play Jenga with Moth, and they just dead gonna like kick the base of that shit and then be like, yeah, now what, pussy? And I mean, damn. <laughs> I wouldn't know what to do afterwards, shit. Evidently, Moth wrote an essay on why Hod did not do anything wrong, but I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. You can shorten that essay into about yeah, a couple words. The voice. It's like two words, but that wasn't the best in math, so I, I needed time to process how many words it was, alright? Just shut quiet. Don't, please don't assault me. But that voice is like a get it of jail free card. I mean, granted, she she didn't really go to jail, but like, but she could have also used it as like a get it of jail free card. You feel me? And in response to Cromer, they have no hate, just pure apathy. And I mean, <laughs> bro, that's a greater insult. I'm glad they said that shit. God damn. Now, Ma said they wanted to see Argalia dead, which I mean. But I, I feel as though most people who play the game resonate with that statement. And you know what? Me too. And don't look at my message and come to the realization of the fact that it could also be taken with a double meaning towards something that is a little on the side of what we call to be um, fruity, alright? Just don't look into it too much, you got me? Alright, nice. But see, the answer to this next question made me come to the realization of the fact that Moth is terrifying. They want Lobotomy Corporation too. 
Imagine going through day 49 and then thinking to yourself, I want to do that shit again, bro. That shit is terrifying. I, that is fucking terrifying. But I'll tell you what's not terrifying. The fact that they said Sinclair is breedable. <laughs> oh, good shit. However, for the hottest abnormalities, said melting love. So, I mean, you know, it's generic ass answer. It's not really that excited for it. It's not as good as when they said Sinclair is breedable. I'm just, you know, just generic ass answer. Now, Moth wanted a swimsuit because they believe Ryoshi would look better in that, but I mean, I'm gonna keep it on with you, dog. I feel as though Ryoshi wearing a swimsuit would, um, expose her. I, that's all I'm saying. Ryoshi fans are delusional, bro. There is nothing there, and I'm not talking about the abnormality, you feel me? And the one change you would make to Limbus Company is making Ryoshi's breasts bigger, which, goddamn, yes, salute. Now, in response to the most important question of the greatest Project Moon content creator, they said a whole bunch of bullshit that I did not actually read because I cannot read, but see, at the end, they said you are the number one in my heart, and you know what? That's all that matters to me, goddammit. So as is evidenced by the trend, Moth2 said my content was a juicy with it. And next we have Elysio. And you may be wondering, you know, what's unhinged about her? Well, you know, let me break it to you straight. Yeah, she's a VTuber. Immediately unhinged right from the get with that. Now in response to the wife or husbando question, Ali said Bina, which I mean, you know what, that's a respectable choice. But I also feel as though if you are a Bina simp, you should probably invest in earplugs because like, bro, you... You're gonna need that shit. You are gonna need that shit. Now her current battle pass level is 73, but she also has a secondary account. Which, in terms of being unhinged, I think there's playing Limbus, and then there's playing Limbus twice. So, that's all I'm saying, she ranking high. And the reason she got into Project Moon games is because of Funeral of Dead Butterflies and Archangela's Lobotomy video. So, you know what, respectable, respectable. And then Ali said, and then is heard no more is her favorite Millie song in Project Moon's works. And you know what, that one holds a special place in my heart. Not because I actually give a damn about Philip, just because I like hearing that and coming to the realization of the fact that we got to murder that bitch like 10 times. All I'm saying is that shit has me riding on a high after I think about it, goddammit. And their favorite artist is also Kokoro, so I mean, goddamn, yo, homie's getting a lot of love. And the other gacha game Ali plays is Cookie Run Kingdom, which... I'm gonna keep it 100 with you? Bro, I don't know shit about that game, bro. <laughs> I've heard of it before, but I do not know why do you... Do you play as a cookie? Do, or, do you eat the cookies? I don't... I'm gonna keep it... But it like, how... How are there different units of cookies? I can think of like three of them. Whatever. It's So she did lost me with all that cookie shit, ain't even gonna cap, but she would like to see Argalia thrown away into the concept incinerator, and you know what? That shit actually mad interesting. Who knows, maybe like Angela would have been evil at that point. You know I said that shit, but honestly that makes like zero fucking sense, bro. That is some map pack game theory type of bullshit. I am sorry for saying that, that was dumb as fuck. Evidently, Ali has not made a manifesto about her wife or her husband, though, which, yeah, to most people, that would be normal to say, but, like, in the Project Moon fanbase, bro, you, you're just kind of weird if you haven't written one, you feel me? Like, it's kind of like a rite of passage, you know? However, she had a goaded answer with insulting Cromer's hairstyle, which, I mean, good shit, that makes up for not writing a manifesto, that is, ooh, beautiful to see. And you know what, she's continuing with the goaded answers, her favorite death scene was Sanjo's, and I mean, you know what, bro? It, come on, everyone loves that shit. That shit was fucking hilarious. Granted, if I were to die and people said my death was hilarious, that shit would be saddening as fuck. That would be mad depressing. But, but, we get to laugh at Samju and not be him, so you know what? That shit was hilarious. Now the next game she would like to see is an MMORPG, and you know what? Go to choice, go to choice. And in response to the Sinclair question, the most important one on the list, mind you, she said, I think the number of fan arts speak for itself on Sinclair being breedable, and I fully agree. I got all of that shit saved. I'm not gay, though. I'm just... Science. Si science. Science. Straight as, you know, straight as an arrow. Very crooked. It was science. So straight as an arrow. Straight as an arrow. And she said the hottest abnormality was the funeral of the dead butterflies. Not terribly surprising, giving her prior answers, but you know what? Respectable, nevertheless. 
And it's also respectable that you would like to see bunny suit IDs first. The only, the only goaded answer to that to that question. That is not a question where I view you equally depending on your answer, bro. That shit is lopsided as a motherfucker. And she would like to change hit game Ligmas Company to be closer to Library of Ruina. Which, I mean, you know what? Understandable. And yes, I did not say the names wrong in the slightest. And in response to my question of the greatest Project Moon content creator, she said it's all of you, you are all fun, which is, you know what, that's wholesome, it brings everyone together as one strong, beautiful community of absolute brain rot, and you know what, in response to that, I threatened to kill her family. Naturally, Ali2 said my content was the best on the platform, so, you know, after hearing that truth, we can now move on to G-Chan. Now, G-Chan is crazy because he actually reads the story in Limbus Company, like, bro, <laughs> who the hell does that? What the fuck? So, G-Chan, you are a, a Project Moon content creator, right? Now, with that being said, generally, we're all <laughs> terrible, terrible people when it comes to uh, how sane we are, but see, we need to have the number one, the most unhinged content creator on the platform in terms of Project Moon games. So with that being said, I have a couple of questions and your answer to them will determine if you are mentally unhinged. Well, more so how mentally unhinged you are. You're already like a Project Moon content creator that kind of like already puts you out there. You feel me? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like the sanest one out there. That, uh, <laughs> doubt, doubt. Who's your waifu or husbando? Mio. Yeah. You were quick on that shit. I respect that. I respect that. What's your current battle pass level? Like, 32. Alright, okay. It doesn't play the game. Makes sense. <laughs> How do you get into Project Moon games? I was playing RimWorld. Then someone put a mod for like the Lobotomy Corporation OSC into like RimWorld. And I saw i saw angela and i was like oh my god cute anime girl so i searched up the game so i saw it's about scp and i was sold and it was all you know and and now i'm here all right good shit good shit got in from angela that respectable right there goddamn it respectable best melee song that's in project moon's works children of the city you actually a lot of people have been answering children of the city goddamn yeah. do you remember the numbers at the end uh i already forgot all right, so that... All right, fake fan. All right, favorite artist that does Project Moon fan art? I guess my favorite artist would be like, you know, uh, Eris Hanako and Musumi Jory. Uh, there's also... <laughs> wait, 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 come again with the name? <laughs> that shit was quick as fuck. Uh, sorry, let me say it again. It's uh, Eris Hanako and Musumi Jory. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a uh, yeah, good artist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, uh, I was uh, Eris Hanako M MOSB Enjoyer. Oh, I thought you were just- I thought you were giving me like a fake name. <laughs> no, no, that's actually a real name. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's one of them. Alright, alright. Kokoro cool is also a great artist, uh, mm -hmm. random art maker, and uh, there's too many artists, but so I'm just naming yeah. like a, one that I can name off the top of my head. Niet is also one of them. What other gacha games do you play? Art Knights. Respect. But I stopped playing that for right, a I'm long gonna kill time you. ago. Mm -hmm. How long ago? Like two year, two or three, I, I lost count. Like maybe Jesus. two years later, I, ca I came, I, I came back for W. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> and I rolled her in my like eight like roll, even even though I saved up uh, for like a year. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. You have to remove one important Project Moon character from the games. Basically, concept incinerator that bitch. Who you erasing? I don't really hate anyone, so if I'm thinking something that would like probably collapse a city, mm -hmm. how about we fucking be both? We just erase a uh, Aiden. All right, all right. Just fucking cut it off at the source. Well, secondary source. Makes yeah. Sense. What if what if Carmen just dictates everything? <laughs> oh, that sounds fucking terrible. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. A lot of people gonna die. A lot of people. It's gonna be like ending C right there. Have you written a manifesto about your wife or husband? Though? No, I haven't uh, written, but like, uh, I guess I do have the video, which is like the Mio You So Precious and mm -hmm. the one where Mio says Yem. Yeah, respectable, respectable, makes sense. I, I think that's everything that everyone needs to know about Mio is that she says Yem. I need to have that shit as like a notification sound on my phone. That would be fucking hilarious. Thoughts on Cromer? I mean, she's a pretty gal. If you just get rid of like the psychopathic tendencies. Uh, 
I don't know. Hmm? Oh, you say? I don't know. I, I I don't know what to say. She's like, she's kind of crazy. Yeah, true, true. I think you I got, got a field. like the fixer. You got a strip boy like the psychopath. Uh, the the hair, the eyes, the face, the head, the body. Basically, we're turning to like dust, and, and then I think that's like a good place to start and make a better character. All right, favorite death scene. Malkut after Kogido. <laughs> damn. All right. I fucking went hard with that shit. God damn. Man. Any reason I, in particular? I don't know why, but when I, when I first saw it, I was like, holy shit. Like, this this is the real deal. Mm, okay, okay. Man. I thought you just hated Maku. I was about to be no, like, god damn. No, I, I didn't hate Maku. All right, all right. It makes sense. Makes sense. What is the next game you would like to see Project Moon make? Uh, anything that isn't a gacha game, really. All right, all right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, this is the most serious and important question out of the entire list I got, so be prepared for it. Alright. Is Sinclair breedable? No. I'm gonna fucking murder you. Okay, hottest abnormality. <laughs> hottest abn- what? Hottest abn- did I stutter? Like, hottest abnormality? Yes. Uh, melting love. Alright, makes sense, makes sense. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Respectable. Now- which would you like to see first? Bunny suit IDs or swimsuit IDs? Uh, bunny suit. Good shit, good shit, good shit. What is one change you would make to Limbus Company? Get rid of that stupid sanity system and actually have like numbers in between rather than a, a coin flip. Hmm. Like, 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 what do you mean numbers in between? Like a range? It could be? Yes, yeah, like LOR. What the fuck is off? Oh, <laughs> that is the first time I've heard somebody say LOR out loud. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? But alright, yeah, I see what you're saying, alright. Uh, okay, last question, last question. Best Project Moon content creator and why is it me? Uh... Sorry, could you repeat the question? Best Project Moon content creator, and the important part, and why is it me? Uh, sub to G-Chan. I'm gonna kill you. After hearing G-Chan saying that you should subscribe to my channel, we can move on to the final person. Aegir. Whatever the hell that name's supposed to mean. Now you may be wondering, what are they unhinged for? Well, they deadass microwaved eggs and ate them. Not for a bit. For a joke. For a little haha. Na 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 na. Dead did that shit and thought the eggs would be fine. I don't know why the hell they thought that, yo. Shit's kinda dumb, yeah, not gonna lie. Alright, Shren, the person who microwaves what? eggs and uh. eats them. Uh, I'm making a tier list, a little ranking of all the Project Moon content creators to see who the most unhinged one is. Now, you are... insane. So, uh, I'm sure. gonna ask you some questions and rank you based on your answer to those questions. Okay. Alright, so, first question, right? Who's your waifu or husbando? Er, uh, Isong, easy. Okay, yeah, yeah, fair enough, yeah, 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 okay. What's your current battle pass level? Uh, I don't know, like, 40 or something? I've been slacking, sorry. Alright. <laughs> How did you get into Project Moon games? Okay, so this was like, during COVID, before Library of Runa came out, mm -hmm. I used to... Sorry, I used to, like, be on Tumblr and draw, like, fan art. Yeah, not surprised. Miki. What? 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 No, no, continue. continue. Dude! Sorry. No, no, continue. Dude, continue. What the continue. Continue. Okay. Er, I used to draw a lot of fan art for, like, Yumi Miki and, like, the fan games for it. And then someone reached out to me and asked me if I knew what Lobotomy Corporation was. I was like, um, I've seen it around, but I don't know anything about it. Yeah, I looked into it a little more, and I was like, damn. Some of these bitches are bad as hell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. Alright, best Millie song that's in Project Moon's works? Uh, I really like Poems of a Machine. That's probably my favorite one. Alright, nice, nice. Favorite artist that does Project- You're not nice. Favorite artist that okay, does man. Project Moon <laughs> fan art. Um, oh, there's like this one Yi song artist. I think their name is like a bunch of L's. Wait, I need to look it up. Yeah, sounds um, about right for a Yee song fan. What? Uh, 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 what? What? No. Okay, man. No. Okay, man. Okay, man. Okay, man. That's like their username. <laughs> and then they just all, they, they just draw like a lot of fan art of Yee song being really sexy. True. <laughs> Even free chapter four. Oh my god. Yeah, to be able to draw that, damn, they must be talented, huh? Yeah, shit. 
Sex? Sorry. What? No. Uh, huh? Huh? Hmm? Huh? Sorry. East song is mid. Okay, so. Dude! Uh, what other gotcha games do you play? Um, Arc Knight's Cringe. That's like the only one I actively kind of. I've been slacking on gotcha games. I've I've dropped like everything else. Like GFL and Genshin, I've dropped. What? Well, oh. I can't remember. Of course, you played Oopsies. Genshin. <sighs> okay, man. Okay, man. You literally played Genshin too. <coughs> Yo, didn't you make like a long <coughs> video like criticizing? <laughs> I, uh, I don't know what you're talking- No, 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 I don't- Yeah, fictional stuff here. You, yeah, you, you just high on like that Yi song shit, dog. Miss me that. What? Alright, so, you know, those are the icebreakers done, you know? And now we're getting into like the big boy shit, right? You have to remove one important Project Moon character from the games. Basically, Concept Incinerator, that bitch. Who you erasing? Greta, I guess. I don't give a fuck about her. <laughs> wow, okay, the shark people, you just hate them. Wow, yeah. okay, wow. Well. Sorry, I didn't mean to be racist. <laughs> yeah, you didn't mean to be, but, you know, you just are. My bad. Uh, so, have you written a manifesto about your waifu or husbando? Um. Uh. Guys? <laughs> I, I already know the answer. Just just say for the record. <laughs> Incriminate yourself before the court. Um, maybe? Or, who knows? <laughs> DM'd me one. I didn't even ask. Just, just straight up gave Dude, me like a Dude, I did what? I, I didn't even- bro, I was just chilling one day, you know, sipping on some water, favorite drink, and then just... I had that shit to deal with. Crazy ass people die, I swear to god. Alright, so, thoughts on Cromer? Oh my god! Sorry. Oh my god. That'll be normal. You won't. You won't. Yeah, I won't. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She's Fate? sexy, sorry. No, 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 okay. Insane, evil, equal, sexy. True. That... It's actually, wait, thoughts on Joker from Batman, then? Let's continue oh, I don't on. really... I don't really care. Fake, I'm telling you, fake. Wow, Sorry. wow. Alright. <laughs> Favorite death scene? I, I think Roland's death scene is pretty cool. Oh, okay. Christian looking ass. Oh, yeah. I don't know, like, something about it, like... Because, like, you know how everything's monochrome, and then the red is just, like... Like, in contrast? Very cool. You know, when, when I thought of that question, I was thinking people were going to be like, Oh, that was cool, or I hated that character. You're like, nah, that was just a beautiful death dot. Oh, I mean, frame I, that I, shit I on the not... wall. No, I didn't say I would frame it! <laughs> I just think, like, I don't know, like, the composition is, like, super cool. Yeah, Anyways. psychopath Sorry, answer, I... but yeah. You know. I... Okay, man. <laughs> Alright, yeah, going to the loony bin. Okay, so, what is the next game you would like to see Project Moon make? Where you can have sex with you song? Sorry, what? Sorry, um... <laughs> Hi. Why <laughs> uh... crying? Sin, five minutes ago, I will be normal. <laughs> Everyone knew that show was a lie. Everyone. Um, that wasn't me, I was hacked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. Okay, so, you know what? I'm just gonna wipe that away from my memory. Come, no! come back composed? Alright, so, sorry. important question. Important question that only a normal person would ask. Okay. Is Sinclair breedable? Yes, 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 All yes. Alright, good shit, yes. homie, good shit. Of that course, makes up for you being nice. absolutely fucking loony. What? What? Okay, man. Yeah. Okay, man. Uh, you know, your opinions on Sinclair, fine. Yi Song, terrible character, though. Alright, so, new question. Hottest abnormality, go. Oh, easy. Um, funeral of dead butterflies? Or, uh, Durf... Durf... How do you pronounce it? I just guy? say, like, Durf for you. Shut up. That's Durf probably not how... Uh, Durf fruity, yeah. dog. I don't know. That's... True? Yeah, Durf smoke fruity. person. Just like you! Oh. What? 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 Um, anyways. Okay. Yeah, okay, what? Well, okay, yeah. Um, which would you like to see first? A bunny suit IDs or swimsuit IDs? Oh, so easy, bunny suits. Good so shit, easy. homie, good of shit. Good shit. That's the only opinion you're based on, nothing else. Um, okay, man, what about the Sinclair one? What? 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 Okay, next question. What is one change you would make to Limus Company? Um, I think they should add sex in the game. Bro, I saw that shit coming from a fucking mile away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fucking... God damn, fucking crazy. Okay, you know what, last question. Fucking thankfully, it's the last question. Last question and the most important one. Best Project Moon content creator, and why is it me? Um... Who? 
Me. You, Cares. Why is it? <laughs> huh. Sorry. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I can't believe I fucking fell for that shit. God damn it. Alrighty, with Aegir having said that I am the best content creator that everyone cares about, it is now time to tier list everyone. So first up is Demidem. Let's see. Plays Tetris professionally, makes music, a 4chan user, major Toho fan, loves Blue Archive, loves Queen of Hatred. I don't like the connection I just made. Huh. Hmm. A tier. Actually, wait, he's a Chromer fan. S tier. Now the Scaly Dave. Hmm, it likes Pierre, somehow, likes Tomary, plays Clash Royale, and doesn't think Sinclair is breedable. A tier. Alright, so, Welv, likes music that makes him feel depressed, likes seeing Chromer in a maid outfit, but is a Honglu simp. B tier. Moth. Pretty normal, however, they have successfully deluded themselves into believing that Ryoshu has a chest, which, honestly, that's very impressive. B tier. Ali is... Uh, so Surprisingly normal. You'd expect her to be insane, cause you know, you're a Project Moon content creator, but she isn't. Kinda of weird to say that, not gonna lie, it's C tier. G Chan is also surprisingly normal. A bit crazy for thinking that Sinclair ain't breedable, but you know it is what it is. Yeah, high C tier. Next up is Aegir. Let's see. Can only cook poison. Rips cookies apart cause she does not like chocolate. Was a Yi Song simp prior to Chapter 4 and plays Ark Knights. All in all, a maniac, a high S tier. But now, see, the throne, the number one slot, is yet to be taken because there is one more challenger me. That's right, I'm interviewing myself because I have no friends to interview. The prior recordings were just my schizophrenic ramblings. Alright, so let me show y'all how this shit is done. Who's your waifu or husbando? Foss and Sinclair, I dominate them both. What's your current battle pass level? Wonderful of you to ask that shit, so no, amazing YouTuber you are. Level 98. How do you get into Project Moon games? Well, you see, now I played the Red Mist mod that was made for Darkest Dungeon and the comment section told me to play Lobotomy, so I did. Best melee song that's in Project Moon's works? Hmm, interesting question. A wonderful of you to have written that shit, a goaded question right there, but it's gotta be Gone Angels. You see, the meaning, importance, and emotion in that song is fucking beautiful. Favorite artist that does Project Moon fan art? Well, t I don't even have to think about that shit. That is free as fuck. Arya Dus. She dead made the greatest Foss image in existence, and as she was making it, she was asking for my input on it. That shit wasn't even a commission. She just did that shit because she goaded. Later on, they asked for some new ideas, so I gave them my thoughts, and from there, she made the greatest Yi Song image. You follow her on Twitter. Yeah, now. I don't got a choice of that shit, it's in the fucking description, do it now. What other gacha games do you play? Well, you know, wonderful question, Sanal, Ark Knights and Genshin, and yes, it, it does pay me to say that second one. You have to remove one important Project Moon character from the games, a basically concept incinerator, that bitch, who you're racing. Now, okay, now, so many people would probably think my answer is gonna be Cromer, but see, it ain't. She dead gave us this art of Sinclair crying and that shit is hot as hell, so she can exist just because she indirectly gave us that masterpiece. Now see, I can't delete Hakma either, he helped make Angela's meat mountains, but, 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 I would snipe the fuck out of Philip. that pussy boy can get it, screw him. Have you written a manifesto about your wife or husband? Now see, that's a difficult question to answer, but let me just say something real quick, right? Y'all do not want to know what I did in the name of Faust, it was saying that shit out loud would get me arrested on the spot. Thoughts on Cromer? Ugliest creature in existence. If you simp for her, you lack reading comprehension and did not understand a single word in Chapter 3. Favorite death scene? Cromer's. Why? Yaoiville. What is the next game you would like to see Project Moon make? A hentai game. Easy. What the fuck? We got the dorm system to help out the scenarios. Like, deadass, you walk in there and it's just a different environment depending on how you're feeling. We could have so much different shit, like a bedroom, your love hotel, dungeon, pirate ship, hell, local swingers party. You know, like the good shit. Is Sinclair breedable? I would demolish his prostate. Hottest abnormalities? A nameless fetus. Bro, just look at what that mouth do. Which would you like to see first? A bunny suit IDs or swimsuit IDs? IDs, bunny suit IDs, preferably reversed, if you catch my drift. What is one change you would make to Limbus Company? Now see, I would give Foss the one thing she is lacking, an ass. Best Project Moon content creator and why is it me? Well, Sunil, that is a wonderful question. Now see, it's because you are the only one that is above six feet tall. Everyone else is short as a motherfucker. And those are my answers to the questions that I asked myself. I'm not crazy, I swear. 
But see, the thing is, I can't rate myself. Lord knows I'd love to, though. So y'all must be the ones to rate who the most unhinged content creator is. To me, the tie looks to be between them, Aegir, and me. So, write a comment and say who you think the craziest is. But before you write anything, do remember the fact that I can ban you, all right? Just, just, just keep that thought in the back of your mind, all right? Okay, you know, just make a comment now. No pressure, no pre no pressure. Nope. You better fucking make it about me, I swear to God. You're tough, but it's never been about you. You're free, but cement your feet a statue. You're loose, but you'd rather make up something.